PDRN, which serves as a booster to promote regeneration in our body, reliably restores human tissue in two different ways. The first method selectively stimulates the A2 receptor, which actively engages in the wound healing process of the cells. When the A2 receptor is stimulated by PDRN, the wound healing process which regenerates the cells is facilitated in three ways. First, quickly terminating the inflammatory response through the inhibition of the secretion of cytokine, such as HMGB1, TNF-alpha, and interleukin-6, which triggers inflammation and inducing the anti-inflammatory cytokine interleukin-10 to reduce the transition time to the cell proliferation phase. Second, stimulating fibroblast, chondrocyte, and osteoblast by promoting the secretion of various cell growth factors such as FGF, EGF, and IGF, which not only promote cell proliferation, but also induce collagen and non-collagen substances for the generation of normal tissues. Third, rapid generation of capillaries resulting from the stimulation of the VEGF, which is involved in angiogenesis. The capillaries supply nutrients and oxygen to and remove the waste from the wound. The second method utilizes the salvage pathway. The de novo pathway for general tissue regeneration is synthesizing the DNA nucleotide needed for tissue regeneration from amino acids. When PDRN is administered, the DNA biosynthesis step can be skipped by directly supplying the DNA nucleotide needed for tissue regeneration, meaning that no energy is wasted in synthesizing nucleotides. This enables faster cell and tissue regeneration. In this way, PDRN helps normal tissues recover rapidly and completely.